three perspectives to consider as you plan for your success for next year. Number one, your external stakeholders. Number two, your team as a whole. And number three, each individual on that team. Welcome to Great Transition Strategies Monday Morning Standard. Five minutes to get your week off to a great start and potentially give you something to help make you a more effective leader. More importantly, so you can love what you do. All right, so we've been planning for next year, how to get be successful. And I'm taking this from a model that's been highly developed on high performing teams and the areas that they consider when they look at defining success. So as you do this, I want you to think about who you lead, the team that you lead, and I want you to think about short term and long term. What is the positive impact, short term, long term, short term, weekly, monthly, quarterly, long term, measured at this time next year? All right, so let's dig in. The first one, external stakeholders. So first, define your external stakeholders. Who are they? Who are your external stakeholders? And something to think about is, well, I always think we all have these in common. Who are your clients? Who are your customers? Who are those that are funding you? Or if you're a nonprofit, well, funding you. Investors, or if you're a nonprofit, who's funding you, right? So think about those are at a minimum, the external stakeholders. Who else do you have on top of that that are external stakeholders? Right, so define, how do they define success? Now, usually when we do this, we think about ourselves and we define success. Now this is taking, putting yourself in their shoes and taking their perspective and maybe going out and asking them directly, how do you define success? Get, get the answers that you want and that you need so that way you know you're getting there. So external stakeholders. So if you think about the customers who you're delivering to, there's probably what you're delivering. There's probably some time frame. There's some quality that goes with it. So it's what and how you're delivering. What do they want? When do they want it? How is it being delivered? Hear from them directly on what, what they want. Nonprofits, are you making the impact that you need to make? Investors are always, what's the return on my investment? Nonprofits, those folks that are funding you, am I making the, are we making the impact that we want to make, that the dollars we're putting in, that we're getting what we want out of them? Okay, so get those get those perspectives and define them distinctly for each of your stakeholders. And you might have a number of them, so define them. All right, next, the, your team, the team that you're leading, think about the team that you're leading and that team as, a, as an entity, as just as a whole by itself. How does the team define success? What I found is usually they, they define success as how they have grown over time, how they've grown, how they've gotten better over time. Where they started, this is where they started, this is where they end up. The processes, the policies, procedures are much better. How they they understand each other, they grow. Have you ever been part of a team where you came together, you worked really hard, you delivered, you had good results, but then you said to yourself, I never want to be part of a team like that again. That was brutal. We don't, because the team didn't grow. The team had infighting, maybe they were deteriorating as it went, they didn't deliver. What does your team want to make sure they don't end up in that situation? How does, how will your team define success? Get those answers. Okay, last one. Now think about the individuals, the actual individuals on the team. What's the positive impact that they want? And this is gonna take some time because you're gonna need to look at each individual and maybe have a conversation or assert based on your other con on conversation you had earlier, where they are. How does each individual wanna grow? Oh, maybe I want to grow on strategic planning. I wanna grow and be, as a part of this team, I want to have more experience and grow in the area of budgeting. Maybe it's because I want to be more customer facing. How does each individual want to grow? How will they define success for the long term and then break that up into the short term? So that way you now know exactly what they want. So as you think about this, as you're doing your planning for next year, think of these three areas, the perspectives of external stakeholders, define who they are, the team as a whole, how will the team define success as a whole? And how will individuals on the team define success? This was a great experience because I grew. I had a, there was a positive impact and I grew over this particular year. Thanks for listening. Hope you found that helpful. See you next Monday morning, 830. Have a great week.